and then let's move next where is ribosome synthesized synthesis so you know that while I was discussing about the structure of nucleolus right inside the nucleus you know that we have a structure and this structure is called the nucleolus nucleolus and I had told you that nucleolus is mostly responsible for making ribosomes right so we say that ribosomes are synthesized in the nucleoli nucleoli of we know that inside a nucleus we have uh, about uh, in a, a human cell nucleus we have about 10 nucleoli right so we say that ribosome is synthesized in the nucleoli and then they come out and uh, make attachment with ribe, uh, with endoplasmic reticulum or they go to plastids or they go to mitochondria or they remain in the cytoplasm and they are working and making proteins for our uh, cell right how many types of ribosome are there types right so on the basis of sedimentation coefficient ribosome is of two types the ATS ribosome and the 70s ribosome let's jump into it let's let me write here on basis of sedimentation coefficient right there are about two types of ribosomes first one is ATS this what is this S I will tell you and then there is 70 S right this S stands for Swedberg S stands for Swedberg and Swedberg was a scientist who for the first time sedimented the ribosomes right and what did he do we will see later while i am discussing about the units right so there are two types of ribosomes the ats and the 70s ribosome and we will see that also look carefully this ats ribosome is present in eukaryotic cell let me write it here this since this ats ribosome is present in which cell in eukaryotic cell it means that in our cell which ribosome is present ATS ribosome is present and in case of 70s ribosome is present in prokaryotic cell so it means that in a bacterial cell right the ribosome is the 70s ribosome so right so this is the about uh, the types of ribosome now how many units a ribosome has units of ribosome so ribosome is made up of two units as you can see here the black unit and the blue unit I have made it with two different colors so that differentiate between them the black unit is called the large unit and the blue unit is called the small unit so it means that ribosome is made up of two subunits right let me write here two sub units right okay what are those units the first one is the large sub unit right and the second one is the small sub unit right now look uh, let's uh, go let's go a little bit uh, in a detail of it we as you know that we have two types of cells the eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell right so let's uh, put uh, let's uh, open this 80s and this 70s and we will know about that so in case of a uh, eukaryotic cell look for a eukaryotic cell the large subunit is the 60s right 60s and in case of eukaryotic cell the small subunit is 40s right very good and in case of prokaryotic cell for prokaryotic cell the large subunit is 50s 
right? And in case of prokaryotic cell, the small subunit is 30s. 30s, right? So the the look look here. In case of eukaryotic cell, the large subunit is 60s and 40s. And in case of prokaryotic cell, the large subunit is 50s. The small subunit is 30. S, right so let's uh, make a, a concept here if we combine for a eukaryotic cell eukaryotic cell right if we combine both the units the 60s will be the large subunit and plus the 40s will be the small subunit so totally they make it, uh, if we calculate it mathematically it will make 100 units 100 said said birds, but no. In case of biology, we say that 60s and 80s, uh, 40s will combine and they make, will make 80s. Where these 20 units have gone? Now look carefully. While we put this ribosome, all the ribosomes we put in a centrifuge machine, right? And we centrifuge it, so the large particles will settle down. This is called sedimentation, right? Settle down and the small components will come and settle down and they will, due to centrifugation, they will go close to each other, right? So, look carefully. If I draw here two fingers, this is a finger and this is another finger, right? And here also I draw two fingers, right? These are two fingers. But if we... For example, for example, if we centrifuge these two fingers, look carefully. Before centrifugation, they have taken this volume, right? This volume has been there. Now let's centrifuge these two fingers. They will become like this, right? Look. Look, what happened? They have uh, gone within inside to each other. Look, these are fingers, right? And they are in front of each other. So they have taken a place from here up to here. So from here up to here, there is a big volume, right? But if we want to bring them too much close to each other, they will do this action, right? Like this. So they have gone close inside each other right and they now occupy a very small volume right so look now they have taken this volume so the volume here is much more the volume here is less so we say that this is before sedimentation and this is or we say that centrifugation right and this is after centri centrifugation right so if you centrifuge all these uh, ribosomes the small units and large units they will go close inside each other so these here they will hide the 20 units right this is a very simple diagram that i have shown you that where these 20 units go due to centrifugation these proteins or these rnas will go very very near to each other right so they will hide these 20 this 20 units will sediment within each other within these two units right so this was for this was the ribosome of the eukaryotic cell now in case of prokaryotic cell prokaryotic cell the ribosome the large subunit as you know we have written here is the 50s and the small subunit is the 30s right so if we combine both of them and we have made we have centrifuged them so they will make total a 70s you know that if you combine mathematically 50 with 30 they will make 80 but no this is biology and this is not that mathematic that simple mathematics right what we have done we have brought uh, this is 70 uh, this is 50s right and this is 30s right <coughs> and they are very close to each other 
Now if we centrifuge them, they will these proteins will enter within each other, right? And 10 units which have been hidden here, right? 10 units will go into sedimentation, will go in centrifugation, right? So that's why we say there is the 70 Swedberg's uh, ribosome in a prokaryotic cell, right? Okay, this was a little bit introduction of a prokary of a ribosome. Now we will go into the parts of ribosome, the structure of ribosome, and then we will jump into the chemical composition of ribosome and then we will go how a ribosome works right and what are the RNAs present there what are the proteins present there which type of RNAs are found in a prokaryotic ribosome and a eukaryotic ribosome and we will discuss much much more and many things about it so let's um, see in the next lecture regarding the structure and the parts of ribosome see you in the next lecture